Hello, my name is Shanti Pavan and I'm a professor of electrical engineering at IIT Madras. This is an introduction video to a course on time varying electrical networks. The first question that would come to your mind is why is this course relevant? If you come to think about it, computing and communication have literally changed the way we live our lives. And what is the key aspect of a cellular phone today? It is the radio. Without the radio, cell phone would simply be yet another toy. The radio does something which is magical. If you look at the RF spectrum, the desired signal that you want to receive is very, very small compared to a whole bunch of interferers that are out there. And your phone magically picks out that small signal from amidst this huge amount of interfering noise so that you're able to carry on a conversation, download data, all at blazing speeds. How does this work? It turns out that if you look at the block diagram of a modern radio, the aspect that enables this to happen is the process of mixing or multiplication. Multiplication is a time varying operation. It turns out that this is the key to making a modern radio receiver work. Yet another case in point is the block diagram of any modern signal chain. The signal chain senses signals that are continuous in time and amplitude or the so-called analog signals, digitizes them so that the digital signal can be processed by a DSP. To convert a continuous time and amplitude signal into a discrete time and discrete level signal, there is what is called the interface or the signal conditioning electronics which consists of filters, amplifiers and data converters. The analog to digital converter that is needed at the end of the signal chain consists of sampling and quantization. Sampling is an example of a time varying operation. To summarize, therefore, time varying systems are everywhere around us. So who should take this course? This course is intended for circuit designers or more importantly IC designers who are working in the analog, mixed signal and RF areas. It's also suitable for students who are training to be in these areas. I hope you have fun as I had when I recorded this course. Mm -hmm.